Well, hi, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here as we start off a brand new work week. We're starting off with more nice weather here to begin the week, at least. Very quiet conditions out there for today with lots of sunshine, mainly sunny skies. A few high clouds are possible as temperatures reach back into the 50s, well into the 50s, in fact. So it should be a rather enjoyable one, a little on the breezy side. Overnight tonight, quiet conditions, clear skies, and not too cold. We'll fall back into the 20s and 30s. I'd say right around the 30-degree mark in the Tri-Cities. Tomorrow, a few degrees cooler. We're going to get a more of a northerly wind tomorrow that cools us back a few degrees. Some 40s up north, lower 50s around the Tri-Cities, a touch warmer to the south. One more nice day Wednesday, and then big changes on the way later this week, starting on Thursday. Well, as we look at things for today, mid-50s up north with mainly sunny skies. Again, those winds a touch breezy this afternoon. Out west, upper 50s for highs. We'll see the temperatures in the mid to upper 50s across the south, including about 56 in Hastings and Kearney, 57 for Grand Island. And in the east here, just maybe a touch cooler over towards Lincoln at 53, so mostly mid-50s there to the east as well. Next seven days, a lot to talk about later on here as we have nice days today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. And then here come the changes on Thursday. A cold front's going to come in from the northwest. We'll likely see an early day high behind that front. Temperatures will be dropping during the day, so our high may come before sunrise. Along with that, initially maybe a little bit of rain there or drizzle that comes in, but eventually we'll see snow, especially by Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. With some accumulation possible, it's pretty likely we're going to see some snow. This does not look like a significant snow system, storm system at all. This looks like mostly a light to moderate snow event. Right now, northern Nebraska is favored for for the best chance of snow as well as the higher totals of snowfall. I think northern Nebraska, you folks could be looking at two to four inches of snow, maybe five or six, if uh, on the higher end of things, that three to six inches. On the lower end of things, one to three inches of snowfall. Tri-Cities on the higher end, I would say one to three inches. Lower end, a dusting of snow. Along with that, quite a bit of wind out there. So while this does not look like a significant system, uh, the winds blowing some snow around could cause some problems. We get a break on Friday, but a little colder on the back side of that system Friday. But then another shot of cold air comes in Saturday and Sunday, and we may also squeeze out a little bit more snow. This looks like mostly light snow Saturday into Saturday night, maybe into Sunday as well. Not all forecast models are in agreement with this chance right now, so there is a chance there, but it does not look like a lot of snowfall. This looks like a lighter snow event for Saturday and Sunday, so if you have plans, I know a lot of people have gathering plans for the holiday weekend, so that's something to keep in mind. Right now, it looks like your favorite areas would be the southern parts of Nebraska and the northern Kansas an inch or two and that might even be pushing it right now so again it's not a significant snow that said all of this snow coming together could potentially give us at least a white christmas i don't think it's going to melt off with the colder temperatures on the way as you saw there we may struggle to reach 20 degrees over the weekend so we're not going to melt it off real quickly out there so there is the potential for a white christmas with a couple of rounds again uh, neither of those systems look significant i'd say the better chance of snow and the higher totals would come on the thursday chance compared to the weekend chance and even then it's not something that i'm majorly concerned about we could see some minor issues some traffic issues but you're not looking at blizzard conditions we're not looking at something that's going to stall out traffic or anything like that uh, it's going to put everything to a halt it's not a get out the milk and bread get the milk and bread from the grocery store type of storm nothing like that on the way but certainly a, uh, a change to more winter-like conditions very appropriately with that first day of uh, astronomical winter being on Thursday. So there is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all have a great Monday and God bless.